Wow, welcome back to Red V T V man for another episode of reaction videos like never before, man. We got the old man pops. Um Charleston White Mentor, man. This part two right here. I told y'all we might do a part two. So here it go. Y'all know what I say. What that there? Play that motherfucking clip, man. Jesus forgive, you know, forgive. And don't know nobody know reading. Then don't know nobody what they're reading. Then don't know nobody to know what to tell them how to read. That's very true. Um, let me ask you, Pops, uh, are you, how upset are you? I'm not upset. <laughs> I'm not upset. The reason why I'm not upset, I don't understand, but I'm not upset because I learned how to survive and eat in this country, and I can't read and write. I'm not upset about nothing. I I don't dislike you. I don't f with you, because mm. I know you don't like me. So what I'm gonna mess with you for? So everything I try to do, I try to do over here without having to come on over here asking you or fooling with you for anything. Mm. Do you feel we should have got forty acres and a mule when they freed us? We ain't never been free. Oh, man. Uh, that's Free shit. what? Free to do what? That's free to go get a white man's job and go watch some football and watch some basketball and buy a little old Jerry. Free. Free to do what? You don't make no law. You don't manufacture nothing. You don't produce nothing. So where's your freedom at? And if the Negro don't have that white boy, he in trouble. He don't know how to eat. He don't know how to eat. The only way he don't know how to eat, he got to go fill out an application. They got to go get that job. Got to stay on that job and do what the master said do. So giving us 40 acres would have been giving us too much power back then. They ain't going to give you shit. <laughs> That's Why? Weird. They ain't gave you nothing in all these years. They give an immigrant. A refugee, more than they get slave descent, now they might give you something because you got a Nigerian. You consider the immigrant. I go up there and ask them or something, well, well, yeah, I'll give you shit. You got to still take what you want. Fuck you. Excuse me, ma'am, I'm sorry. No, please. No, I'm sorry. Hey, but they ain't give you nothing. They ain't giving you nothing when they give you 40 acres and a the mule. They come over and took this land from the Indians. Now, how they going to give me something? This God's land. God put this land here for man. You done gathered it all up. Now you're going to dictate to what you're going to do on it, too. That's 1,700 law. Man, that shit don't work no more. Everybody over here now. Every tongue is in America. America's Babylon. And everybody hate one another. They all doing one another every kind of way. If a person got a country to go to where it's a culture, where it's a culture, why did he leave that country where it's a culture and to come over here where there ain't no culture? Especially, we ain't no culture. Black man ain't no culture. He followed, he gave up his culture. He didn't want to follow what the slaves done or what the slaves passed down. He did what Dr. King said do. He went and got that white boy's education. Now he that white boy. And he think that white boy is Superman. That white boy ain't Superman. Iran, Iraq, all these countries is rebelling against him right now. Putin wouldn't want to fire on him so fast he don't know what to do. Where does a, a black man go? Huh? Where's a, where's, where can a black man go to be good out here? Like, Where can a black man go? To be good, like to have a... A black man in America, he can't go nowhere. He got to stay right here. Don't nobody, he can't go nowhere else. Yeah, like he can't go out He the can't country. go nowhere else, so he got to break away from the white boy, stay right here and start his own and just do what he got to do. And when the white boy bothers him, bam, why, why, you, why you bother me? Uh, why you bother me? You got everything, I ain't got nothing. Why you bother me? If we were to get reparations, what, what do you think they should give black Americans? Huh? If we were to get reparations, what should we get instead of money? You think we should get money? No, hell no. Free, free education? Fuck the education, excuse me, ma'am. What, what should we get? What should we get? 
You want some land and you want some seeds and you want to start over again. John Deere tractor. You want some land and you want some seeds and you want to start all over again. So you're going to need a little money, but you're going to want, you want land. You get a black man some money, Gucci going to have it all. Yeah. Diamond store going to have it all. Carlisle going to have it all. You know you owe the black race because how can the black race ever be equal to you and they ain't never had nothing to try to even be equal to you. They had to have a job. That's true. So should black people get put on a reservation like the Indians? They already on a reservation. <laughs> <laughs> they already on a reservation. <laughs> a job finna be gone. <laughs> they already on a reservation. America now. Yeah. America. America can't take care of itself. A white boy can't hardly take care of himself, so he fighting for him now. He ain't got time to come on, man, go with me. Black man gotta wake up and try to do the impossible. Oh yeah. Start all over again and try to see if we can help one another instead of crossing one another. But black people start at the bottom. It's like classism is bad with us as far as we're all poor. Should at least we get something to give us a head start when we're born, when children are born? Right today, the United Nations said, under humane justice, Look how bad y'all done done them blacks in America. Y'all done brainwashed them fools. Hey, white boys, to say, if they ever stand up and speak for a nation, then y'all give them something. But right now, they belong to us, and we're doing what we want to do with them. Leave them alone. They satisfied and content. But the nigga and the hip hop ain't satisfied and content like the Negro is. <laughs> You know, a long time ago, Texas annexed itself from the United States. They're like, we're our own country. Do you think black people could do the same and say, hey, we own Wyoming. Nebraska's ours. Y'all leave us the fuck alone. Watch this here. The fool that can think, he ain't doing nothing. But thinking, it's the working people. We work. We can take Nebraska or any state and build us because we're working people. We're working people. Mm. All we need, every culture got a leader. Dr. King used to be the black people leader. The Nigerians, they got a king. Every culture got a leader. Mexicans, they got a leader. The black culture, once Dr. King got killed, Dick Gregory, Jesse Jackson, Al Shark, all of them changed their language because they don't want to be down. That's real. Don't want to be a martyr. So how do the black nation, what do they do? And now... It ain't gonna be no blacks. Why? They killing one another from state to state. They little stupid fools killing one another. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. Ain't no white boys killing us no more in America. We got a tribable war. Like Shaka Zulu used to go from tribe to tribe and stick his African brother. The brothers in America going from state to state, boom, 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 shooting one another. So, Pops, let me ask you um, knowing that black people kill black people, at a high rate, would you want to live in a country with nothing but niggas? Me? I learned to live anywhere and mind my business. <laughs> as long as you mind your business, I'm going to mind mine. You come over here and bother me in my business, then we got a problem. I don't have no problem about the white boy until you go to trying to tell me how to eat. Mm. Then when you go to try and tell me how to eat and he eating good and his family eating good, uh uh-uh, I'm coming across that wall. I'm coming to get you, white boy. I'm coming to get you and take something back to the family where the family can eat. No, uh uh-uh. I don't have no problem against nobody or nothing. If we all, we all over here now. But we looking at, ooh, man, I speaking from what the man, I don't like that old whole ass nigga. Man, you don't even know that man. What are you looking at him for and done formed an opinion that you don't like somebody? Something is wrong with you. 
You sick. How can I have a beef with anybody? I'm going to run from a beef. I'm not trying to have no beef. I'm trying to eat. If I got a girl and you got a girl and you, both of us liking her and I see it's finna bring a conflict in interest, you can have that girl. I don't want no conflict in interest. I want to eat. Y'all already motherfucking know, man, reaction video like never before. That was the motherfucking old man pops, man, part motherfucking two. And we in the motherfucking car. You understand me? But that mic, my mic, my pop felt the mic coming in today. So hopefully that motherfucker do what it's supposed to, as far as the audio is concerned. And um, we'll run it like that. You dig? So hope y'all enjoyed that motherfucking snippet, that motherfucking preview, that motherfucking uh, segment. You understand? Whatever you like to call it, I hope you enjoyed this shit. You dig? And um, yeah, I'm in a whip right now. Matter of fact, just to put y'all in my business right quick, since I got I got a few more seconds to talk some shit. Oh yeah, and yesterday I did find some turkey next to y'all. Cajun seafood, by the way. I did find some turkey next. Uh huh. Definitely, definitely found a motherfucking turkey next. It did. But yeah, man. About to be dropping some music soon, too, man. About to be dropping one of these songs. Yeah, man. Put some out there. Yeah, man. But yeah. Reaction video like never before. Reggie TV, man. Cut.